This is for Cancer Sub Rising the Beta Size. This is for Cancer. My name is the Reader the Mean Dollar Terror. Once again, for those of y'all that are new and welcome to the Mean Dollar Channel. So, some of y'all had a dream recently. This could be about traveling. Some of you could be traveling for work. It does look like the truth is coming out for a lot of my cancers about a situation. And we also got empowerment and financial health. So for a lot of my cancers, I do see you getting your finances right. I'm getting that's going to be important for a lot of y'all too. We got talent and we also got boundaries. So maybe these are setting some higher boundaries, especially for those of my cancers that are needing to set some boundaries right now. And then we got answers. So I do see you receiving some answers as well. And we got courage. We got some Leo energy here. And then we got strength. So... Today, your match is going to be Leo. For a lot of you, this is having the strength to step outside your comfort zone and, you know, do some things that you wouldn't normally do. And we got spirit guides. So for a lot of my cancers, this is allowing spirit to guide you even if it seems tough or even if you feel like you're wasting your time or things just not easy for you. I do see a blessing in route of cancer. So spirit is guiding you towards a blessing, but you got to remain hopeful and Find the beauty in your situation. For a lot of you, this is also opening up your third eye, especially for those of my cancers that do use their sixth chakra. We got a little bit of Libra energy here. Some of y'all could have a legal situation going on. This could be with a Leo or a Libra. And we also have protection. So I do see a feminine guardian angel protecting cancer, especially for those of y'all that are manifesting love. Let's see what else is coming in for cancer. I appreciate y'all and Thank y'all so much, everybody. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So we do got peace, love, and the starting point of a journey. And we also have infinity. So we got beautiful things will endure. And somebody got a six-year-old. We got it's the right time to take action. And we got erupt. So we got express your feelings and expose your energy. So that's going to be extremely important for cancer as well. And then we also have happy, great times, enjoy it. And we also have glitter. So we got to come on stage and start just shining. And then we also have the newborn. We got a great new beginning. So yes, there is a new beginning in route of cancer. Yes, a lot of you are in route of a new start or just something different in your life, period. And we also got outlets. So we have you have found the right way out. And we also have torment. So we got to stay optimistic and endure the suffering. And we also have love. So we got romance and fantasy novels are firm on love. And we also have somebody could be 35. The next month looks promising. So for a lot of my cancers, December is going to be a pretty good month for you. We're in November right now. So this is your beginning of the month reading. We got the daybreak. So we got the last obstacle before the emergence of life. And we also have illusions. So there's something that you're not seeing right now, Cancer. That's why the third chakra did, I mean, the sixth chakra did pop up about your third eye. They're telling you to lose your third eye. Maybe you will see something from a different perspective. We got inspiration. You found the key point to your problems. And we got nine months from now. Somebody could be 28. So nine months from now, cancer is going to be the mark period for you. So you need to be setting a plan for the next nine months. Because nine months from now, you're going to be in a completely different situation. It sounds far, but it'll sneak up on you. We got demanding, unrealistic expectations, high maintenance diva. And we got bottled up, many expressed emotions, time bomb holding back. And we also got show off. So we got needs to prove themselves insecure. And we also have forgiven. So we got they didn't mean to hurt you, but you are holding on to it. Forgiving helps you get past. And we also got fierce temper. So he has, has too many anger issues and dark moods, abusive. This could be you. This could be how somebody's feeling about you. Or this could be how you're feeling about them as well, cancer. So Keep that in mind, too. And we also have endings. So we have you pretended that it's not ending, but it's time to let go and make a fresh new start. We got reflects your own issues like attracts light and false hope. So we got tries to sell you a pipe dream, no substance, evasive. So that's what a lot of my cancers are going through right now. And we also have self-righteous, act super spiritual, condescending, and preachy. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody with those energies, and we got toxic. This person is very toxic in reality. So this person portrays one thing, but in reality, that's not what's going on. Let's see what else is coming in for cancer. I appreciate y'all, and thank y'all so much. So 
We got up in the air, not able to make solid plans, flighty, ungrounded, and we also got the gold digger. So we got in it for what they can get, money hungry, self-serving, and we also got starting over. So we got endings and moving on, tries to come back, uh, the ex and unpredictable. So somebody, some of y'all got somebody from your past that's very unpredictable. You don't know what to expect from this person. You don't know what you're going to get from this person, but this person's energy is super heavy. We got anxiety. Somebody got an 18-year-old, and we also have the goddess in the moon. Somebody could be 52, and somebody got an 11-year-old, and somebody could be 23. We got all tied up, so some of y'all are feeling stuck in a situation. And we also have happy family in reverse, so some of y'all are going through a divorce or some type of separation, a custody battle. And we got caring connections in reverse. So yeah, a lot of my cancers are going through some type of separation or you could be just grieving right now over the ending of a connection. Some of you were dealing with a masculine energy and it's like he outsmarted you. Especially for those of y'all that are going through a divorce or the end of a business deal or something. Now, this could be also my cancer men coming up with a plan as well. So keep that in mind, too. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and also comment now. And if you all want to see more content for cancer, send in for cancer, y'all. You can send a super like. It's your way to support on YouTube. If you're on TikTok, the CA is at the top, of course. Um, Yeah, I appreciate y'all. If you're interested in personal services, if you are on YouTube, you can go through the description below or email. If you're on TikTok, you can inbox so you can go through the booking link. So we do have financial constrictions and we also got the hill of ages. So yeah, some of you are struggling financially. It looks like somebody deceived you, can't say somebody could be 25 and that could be why you're going through this. Somebody could have sent this energy your way as well. So I would recommend the cleanse for some of you. We got the first chakra in reverse. You're not showing up as the best version of you right now. And we got broken hearted in reverse and adjacent possibilities in reverse. Yes, a door did close. And yes, some of you are grieving over a heartbreak, but I see you getting through this. Trust the process, Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we got the man holding the coin in reverse. My Cancer men, you might not be doing too well right now. This is usually Taurus energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. He might be a user. He might be a liar. Or some of you are being used by masculine energy, period, who just don't got it like that. He could always be asking for help or money. This could be a family member. This does not have to be a lover. I appreciate you, Cancer. Thank you.